New hope for the more than 30 million Americans who suffer from type 2 diabetes. That's right, a new kind of targeted dieting could help reverse the condition. Kate Snow now with details. Key laughed sharp, always thought he was in pretty good shape. He's a personal trainer and realtor in Birmingham, Alabama. But type 2 diabetes runs in his family. My grandmother had uh, diabetes, my mom, my sister has it. Keelaf was so busy, he used to grab fast food, sweet tea, energy drinks. People see you and think, oh, you work out, you're healthy, there's nothing wrong with you. No, nah, that's not the case. Not if you're not eating right. Exactly. A few years ago, he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and prescribed medicine. But Keelaf wanted alternatives, so he volunteered for a study at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Looking at two diets, Keelaf was put on a low-carb diet for three months. Every Tuesday, a box of food arrived with recipes. So okay. it's eggs with vegetables. You can put whatever vegetables but no you carbs. want in. No carbs. I think we'll go with the three hours. Nutrition researcher Barbara Gower okay. launched the study five years ago. Americans tend to eat a lot of sugar and carbohydrates, and you reach a limit to the ability to store those excess calories. And that essentially is what ultimately leads to type 2 diabetes. The white that we're seeing here is the fat in between the organs? That's right. The key to Gower's study, targeting the fat around organs like the pancreas and liver. When someone has diabetes, they no longer have the ability to really metabolize carbohydrates correctly. And we feel that they're converting a lot of those carbohydrates to harmful fats that are stored in and around the organs. So we're taking those carbohydrates out of the diet with the idea that if we do that, we may be able to allow the body to recover. Could that potentially reverse type 2 diabetes? Yes, it could. The results so far are promising. For decades, people have been on medication for type 2 diabetes. Could this be a wholesale change in how you look at it? Oh, it absolutely could be. I am convinced that we can treat individuals with type 2 diabetes with diet. Today, Keelaf is no longer considered diabetic, and he's found creative ways to satisfy his sweet tooth. I may take a chocolate protein shake and eat some almonds, and to me it was a Hershey's almond bar. New habits he plans to keep. Kate Snow, NBC News, Birmingham, Alabama.